Dear colleagues, I am glad to greet you at uh, this conference and would like to present you our recent research results on bacterial apoxygenases that could facilitate cross kingdom host champs. Lipoxygenases are enzymes that oxygenize polyunsaturated fatty acids and form oxalipines. Oxalipines are cell-to-cell -cell signaling chemicals that are widespread across almost all multicellular eukaryotes. It is the case of vertebrates, plants, uh, fungi, and some algae. Uh, in all of these uh, kingdoms, oxalipines perform uh, significant signaling functions. But what about bacteria? Uh, th uh, the experimental data on oxalipine functions in bacteria are very scarce. Uh, we have undertaken uh, our own bi uh, bioinformatic res research on bacterial apoxygenases and published uh, its results in Biochemistry Moscow. Uh, and uh, the popular synopsis in uh, Science First Hand. Uh, but uh, we have found two uh, interesting associations of bacterial apoxygenases and possibly bacterial oxalipine signaling. The first as uh, association was multicellularity. It is depicted as green rounds at this phylogenetic network. And the first association was pathogenicity or symbiosis. The association with multicellularity was uh, properly elaborated in our uh, previous research, but the association uh, with pathogenicity or symbiosis was less detailed. And in this research, we are elaborating this association and searching for new evidence of a uh, link between bacterial oxalipine signaling and uh, pathogenicity, symbiosis, or other uh, host microbe interactions. Firstly, we have updated our data set of uh, lipoxygenase carrying uh, pathogens and symbionts. We have updated uh, this data set in uh, the way we created it. Uh, in the result, uh, we have the list of lipoxygenase carrying species uh, that are pathogens or symbionts. Please pay your attention that uh, in this uh, there is a pseudomonas also, very dangerous nosocomial pathogen in this list. Uh, it uh, will provide some uh, clues uh, for bacterial oxalipine signaling later in this presentation. Secondly, we have performed a research that was a hybrid between uh, text mining and systematic review of literature with visualization our data as a network. We have uh, visualized uh, the terms characterizing the ecophysiology of uh, lipoxygenase carrying bacteria that are pathogens or symbionts uh, is a network that you can see at this slide. Each node is a term and each edge is uh, a case of occurrence of two terms in the same species. You can see that plant-related species uh, depicted in uh, plant-related terms, uh, sorry, uh, depicted in green, uh, human-related terms depicted in red, uh, are tightly interconnected. This, uh, the same picture is uh, seen in the backbone of this network that you can see at this slide. Uh, moreover, uh, the network building hubs uh, are formed by uh, one more group of uh, terms, one more group of traits uh, that we have separated in uh, a specific group, uh, a public health, health treat group. Uh, 
This group uh, includes the terms like uh, emerging antimicrobial resistance and uh, multidrug resistance. So we, uh, this uh, network reflects multiple uh, uh, cross-kingdom host jumps of lipoxygenase carrying pathogens and symbionts and a broad host range specific for lipoxygenase carrying pathogens. Moreover, we can see that in humans, lipoxygenase carriers are usually opportunistic or not so common pathogen. Now we have uh, full, full statistical evidence for this, and uh, we are able to explore uh, the correlation with uh, phylogeny of these lipoxygenases. The phylogenetic trees fully correlated uh, with this collective ecophysiological profile of uh, bacterial lipoxygenases and lipoxygenase-carrying bacteria. It means that bacterial lipoxygenases are involved in host micro microbe interactions and are possibly associated with plant-human host jumps. Uh, to, uh, investigate uh, the mechanism of uh, these uh, host champs. We have uh, analyzed uh, the data on uh, the total volume of amino acid triate, forming the binding site bottoms of uh, lipoxygenases in our data set. At the box plot diagram, you can see that uh, in uh, lipoxygenases of human-associated bacteria and in lipoxygenases of plant-associated bacteria, the bottoms uh, have almost uh, the same volume, and it is not the case of marine-associated bacteria. And the volumes of uh, lipoxygenases of human-associated bacteria and plant-associated bacteria are uh, about uh, 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 correspond to om uh, omega-6 as lipoxygenase activity. Uh, uh, here we need some uh, here we need some clues uh, to um, explain how uh, omega-6 lipoxygenases uh, can uh, facilitate uh, the invasion of human and plant organisms and uh, we have uh, literature data on pseudomonocerogenes and human organism. In this, pathor this pathogen uses lipoxygenase uh, to synthesize hydroperoxids that are normal uh, precursors of lipoxins. Lipoxins suppress inflammation and facilitate the bacterial invasion. We can hypothesize that the same mechanism uh, works in plants. In plants, omega-6 lipoxygenases uh, must uh, convert uh, the host's uh, linolenic acid to hydroperoxids that are normal uh, precursors of chasmonates, and chasmonates are uh, able to facilitate the invasion, like lipoxins in human organism. And uh, it is the uh, possible explanation of associations that we uh, have observed in our data. Uh, Anyway, even if our explanation will uh, not be confirmed in further experimental studies, we have found that omega-6 lipoxygenase activity in bacteria are associated with plant-human or human-plant uh, host champs, and uh, the, it, it needs uh, special attention from our medical colleagues in the context of uh, possible emerging pathogens and uh, new outbreaks in hospitals, in intensive care units. Uh, please, for more inform uh, information, read our preprint on bioarchive. And uh, I acknowledge uh, our data visualization uh, advisor Anastasia Kuznetsova for her help in network analysis. Uh, I am awaiting your questions. Thank you for your attention.